Dear friends in Jesus Christ, in today's gospel, Jesus is uh, transfiguring himself on the mountain. So here, uh, two things we can learn from today's gospel. Firstly, Jesus was taking decision for himself. He had to take the decision and that, uh, that decision was to go to Jerusalem, which was to face and take the cross. It was not an easy task, but a difficult one. But he had to take that decision. And on the mountain top, he received uh, the doubly approval of his decision. Moses and Elijah, they appeared to him. They met with him. Moses, the supreme lawgiver of the Israel, uh, people always looked forward to Moses that he was the voice of God and so on. And also Elijah, Elijah also was looked forward that he was, he brought to men the very voice of God. So these two great people were meeting with Jesus and uh, this obviously tells that uh, they are approving the will, uh, decision of Jesus that they, Jesus had to go on. Jesus had to go on and it was assured that what Jesus was uh, taking as a decision which was right, which was right, they approved him and also whatever the decision that Jesus was taking was always placing that before God, before God the Father and God also was telling him you are acting as my son and just act it act as my beloved only son continue to act and you must act which means go on go on with the decision that you have taken the transfiguration which means you have to go to jerusalem and then die uh, yourself take up your cross uh, these are the things for the sake of the people for the sake of the souls and secondly, when you look into today's gospel, the disciples were scattered in their own thoughts uh, after listening to Jesus' statement that he was going to Jerusalem to die uh, because this was totally a negotiation of the thought that they understood of the Messiah. Totally it was a negotiation to the understanding of the Messiah for them, for the disciples. So they have to understand that they have to take up the cross as Jesus was doing and finally they also have to go through the resurrection and believe in Jesus Christ. So the same thing that may happen in their life as well. So overall uh, analyzing today's gospel dear friends we can learn from it is that you know how Jesus was transfiguring himself. You know that was one of the uh, foretaste of the heavenly glory. The glory that Jesus had before the foundation of the world, that same glory he was exposing to his disciples. And for us, it is the foretaste of the heavenly glory that is prepared for each and every one of us who is following Jesus Christ faithfully, sincerely and with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind and so on. So everything is fulfilled whatever is hoped for, whatever they looked forward to and whatever they will, they thought or dream, dreamt that will happen in the future because of Jesus Christ, everything ha would take place that is clearly expressed in, today, in today's gospel through the transfiguration of Jesus Christ. So let us look into our own life from which I can transfer my life. If I'm a bad person, so let me become a good person. If I feel a jealousy about the other person, let me begin to love others. If I'm feeling envy about others, let me forgive others. If I'm always hurting others, let me be kind to them. So when we follow these values in our day-to-day -day lives, so God will be surely blessing us and He will be giving us abundant blessing and whatever we need, whatever the necessities that we may be requiring on the life of this earth so God will be fulfilling it and he is our prov providence and let us just follow those values in our daily life thank you